All right, Shalawam, Shalawam, Yasharala. This is the brothers from the GMS Riley collaboration. You know what I'm saying? It's the GMS Riley camp. Once again, through the spirit of the brother Naquam. I'm brother Marsha. Brother Goddow. And before we go any further, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 Bahashim. 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 Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Bahashim Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalawam to y'all, the Akim, to out there in the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth in the names of Yahweh by Shemel Shah out of fear and sincerity of heart. You know, and this lesson, you know, it's in the title of this lesson is going to be called We Speak in Prophecy, man. We being the men of the Lord, starting off with the head of apostles and other bishops on down, we speak prophecy, man, according to the Bible. As a matter of fact, Kapashi, go ahead and bring out that first precept, bro. All right, this is 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter, the first verse, which reads. Follow after charity. Mm -hmm. Desire spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. But rather that ye may prophesy. That's right. Follow after charity, which in my Bible it says pursue love, man. Now, what's the greatest love that we can show one another? Uh, giving us these, uh, breaking down these scriptures, man. You see? Rebuke comes with that, reproof, you know. You know what I'm saying? It says, desire spiritual gifts. He said, but rather that you may prophesy, which is the greatest spiritual gift of all, man. You know? Saying something according to the Bible before it happens, like Isaiah 42 and 9 says. And of course, you got the definition of prophecy, okay, or prophesy on the screen. Okay, it says, uh, it says, uh, excuse me, it says, uh, hold on. Yeah, it says, say that. A specified thing will happen in the future. And that's what we do. We do all that according to the Bible, man. You see? And it's coming true now. You know, the things that we've been prophesying about for years, starting off with the head of apostles, the other bitches on down, they're jumping off the pages now. So, brother, read that precept one more time, and I'm going to go into this quick commentary. All right. This is 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter, the first verse, which reads, follow charity mm -hmm. and higher spiritual use but rather that he may prophesy right prophesy say something before it happens man as a matter of fact i got the uh commentary for first corinthians 14 and 1 of course it's the uh the apostle paul okay talking to the israelites in Corinth, greece of course it says prophecy may evolve predicting future events which we do that according to the bible it says, but its main purpose is to communicate Yahweh Shemel Shah's word, which is the Bible, to Israelites. It says, providing insight, warning, correction, and encouragement, man. And we do all that according to the scriptures, man. You see, because according to Isaiah 8 and 20, if we don't speak according to this word, it is because there's no light in us, man. You know? So that's why we speak everything and filter everything according, according to the Bible. That was it in that, bro? Yeah. Bring out that next precept. All right. Okay, we got on to Revelation. That's right. Revelation, the 18th chapter, the 10th verse. It reads. Right. Yep, Revelation 19 and 10. Right. It reads. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, thou doest not. Right, yep, see, this is the Apostle John on the island of Patmos when he saw the angel, man. When he saw the angel, man, you know, he fell down, he bowed himself down, man. Because when you see uh, the, the angels, the spiritual messengers of the Lord, they're austere spirits, man. You know? So, if he, you know, when he saw, he, he bowed his face to the earth, man. Read on. Right. It reads on, it says, 
I am thy fellow servant. Yep. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh. Right. The angel told the, the apostle John, see thou do or not. Meaning don't do that. Don't bow down to me. Let's see what his uh, uh let's see what he said to the, the apostle John. You know. Worship the most high. Right, wow. worship Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. That's what the angel said. He said, Don't 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 give reverence to me. You know, fear the Lord, man. Fear the one that sent me, man, to give you this, uh, to give you this message. Read on. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah, that's who the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy, man. Okay? Saying something before it happens according to the Bible. And that's what we do. Every week when we go out there in the highways and hedges and we make, when we make these videos on the internet, it's, fo it's mainly focusing around prophecy, man. Because we are the prophets, man. Uh -huh. That was it on that, bro? Yeah, yeah. Bring out that, uh, that last one. All right. That would be Yep, five and twenty. First sure. Thessalonians, um, fifth verse the twenty, uh, the fifth chapter, the twenty first reads, despise not prophesying. Right, for despise not prophesying, man. Which the word despise means to hate, you know. Right. And of course, this, you know, these other groups, you know what I'm saying, these other Israelite groups out here, of course, uh, through their actions, they despise proper science because they're not out there on the highways and the hedges week in and week out. And then first and foremost, they're not teaching them 100% truth according to the Bible. So they despise, man. They despise proper science. But we hear a great millstone, start off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops on down, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, you know, we're able to go out there on the highways and hedges and make these videos for the edification of the elect. This is something that we love to do, you know, to the best of our abilities, of course. You know, you're going to have up days, you're going to have down days, but hey, it's all the spirit of the Lord, man. Right. Read that one more time. Okay, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, the 21st, read, it's not, not prophesying. Right, this is the Apostle Paul talking to the Israelites in Thessalonica, man. He said, "Don't, don't, don't, don't uh, despise prophesies, man. You know, teach the names of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Spread the word, man. Teach the gospel, okay? Which is the good news, and that's the same spirit that we in, man. Okay, we're not ashamed to go out there in the highways and the hedges and make these videos. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, praise and proclaim the names of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Cause that's the spirit that the Lord put in us, man. Y'all was doing that, bro? That's good." Bro. All right, Godal, you up next. Kai, you on uh, second address nine and one? Yeah, you can bring that up. Uh, second address chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And right, what's the measuring tool? The measuring tool is the Bible. Okay? And what are we measuring diligently, man? The prophecies, man. Everything that we see on the news, current events, where it's financial news, economic news, political news, we filter all through the scriptures, man. Okay? That's how we know what times that we're living in. Read on. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right, the signs represents the prophecies. So who's going to tell you the prophecies before it happens? The prophets. We well, you know. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and then where a visit goes into judge or the punishment. You see, that's why we're seeing a whole lot of more bad times. We're seeing a whole lot of more deletions from the Lord because we're in a time of judgment, man. And we understand it. That's why we're not bugging out. You know what I'm saying? The things and the chaos and, and that's going on around the world and that's what's going on here in America. We don't bug out when we see it because these are the signs that we've been looking for. 
You know, and also look at how Rashad told us to look out for these signs and be in our trouble when you see them, man. You know, we're supposed to be rejoicing. Because we once we're one day closer to us being in our kingdom, man, and the Lord taking this devil out of rule. Bring out the next precept. Matter of fact, bring out that Jeremiah. We'll close it out with Jeremiah 28 and 8. So you want, so you want, uh, you want Sirach or you want Jeremiah? Go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And we'll just close it out with that one. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. Mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me. That's right. And before thee of old mm -hmm. prophesied both against many countries. That's right. See, that's what the prophets did. They prophesied, man, which means to say before. Okay? And we do what we do that according to the Bible. That's what our forefathers did, the servants, the prophets, and that's what we're doing now, man. Okay, in these in this generation, in this reincarnation. Read on. And against great kingdoms. Right. Of war. All right, a war, man. We prophesy. We've been telling you that World War Three is going to happen, which is brewing up. You can have different class wars, civil wars, race wars, you know. It's inevitable, man. Okay? We've been prophesying about this for years before it happened. Starting off for the head of apostles, other bishops on down. We don't. End of evil. End of evil. Bad times, man. You got the food prices going up, water going up, you know, resources are going up, everything going up, man. And you know what? And your wages are going down. So that's going to lead to more evictions, you know. That's going to lead to more chaos, you know. We were saying it before. Uh, we've been saying it for years before it happened. Read on. And of pestilence. And of pestilence, man. You, you got this new monkeypox. Uh, 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 a variant that's out now. You see, we're gonna see where the Lord wants to take that. You know, there's gonna be even more incurable diseases, man. That that Windows 19 was just uh, a taste, man. Okay, the Lord got more incurable diseases about to happen, man. And this is all according to the Bible, man. Okay, and we're gonna warn you about it before it happens. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, and tell you that you need to repent. So, hey, the Lord's Windows is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Al-Shah by Shema Kakwathas. Another GMS Roddy collaboration once again. Lord's Windows, until next time, me and the brothers say Shalom. Shalom.